So most of you guys know that there's a new movie out called Five Feet Apart. I went to go see it twice. I actually just came back home from seeing it and I love the art that's in this movie. I love how Cole Sprouse is drawing in it. I don't think he's actually drawing in it, but I love the art that his character does. So I might draw a sketch of Cole Sprouse that's kind of like the style of drawings that he does. Not the cartoon ones, but the more realistic ones that he did of the girl in the movie. So who knows, that might be my project this week. So the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to start out with drawing the face shape. We're going to make it an oval and I'm looking at a photo online so I am just getting the right angle and of course I did not do that the right way the first time so that's why I'm erasing it. But now we're getting the face shape. And remember, you don't have to get it perfect the right uh, the first time. You can always just even it out while you're going. But I got the oval shape, and then I'm just drawing out the jawline the way it's supposed to be because it is a male, so they have a more pronounced jawline. And there we go, we got our jawline right there. And now I'm just drawing the hands because he does have his fist on his face because he's leaning on it. So right now I'm just getting the outline of the fist so I'm not drawing any fingers or anything really pronounced. I'm just getting the shape. And now we're drawing the shoulders because he's like shrugging, but it's kind of like an angle that's coming more from a, up above instead of like right at him. And I do suggest to people to draw a lot lighter. I draw very heavy, but I know that I probably won't fix any of my mistakes because as Bob Ross says, mistakes are just small little differences in our paintings. So now I'm just drawing where the measurements should be. So where the eyebrows go, where the nose goes, where the eyes goes, where the lip, so you can get a evenness to the face shape. And 
and now I'm drawing the nose. I go a little bit of everywhere when I draw, so I don't just work on one thing. I go into like the nose first, and then I go into the eyes, and I go a little bit of everywhere until it comes to a complete painting or drawing or sketch. I really don't just focus at one area and then fix it and make it look beautiful and then move on. I do a little bit of this, I do a little bit of that, and then I keep on moving on. And like every nose is completely different. It's based on genetics, so it's not going to be this perfect shaped nose because there's bone structure. Males' noses are a lot different than female noses, so there's always a different type of drawing when it comes to drawing noses. I'm just getting the jawline a little bit more precise. And I do look back at the picture constantly to make sure I'm doing it exactly like it's supposed to be on the picture that I got off of Pinterest. <clears throat> So Cole Sprouse's eyes are very like squinty. They they're not really open like a lot of people's eyes are. They're more of just like I don't want to say glaring, but they they're soulful. They're very full of wisdom type of looking. So there's a lot of weight on his eyebrows. So they're not going to be perfectly football shaped. I did learn that in kindergarten art class to make eyes like look like football so they got that oval going on. But they, they really aren't just ovals, they really depends on your face shape. But they go in type of a oval but they're not truly oval shaped. And then we're just drawing insides with the eyes and the outside. I'm trying a little bit more of the nose. Like I said, I do go a little bit of everywhere and then it comes into a complete piece. And now we're starting on the eyebrows. So I just get the underlining of where the eyebrows should go and then you're supposed to draw like it's actual hair so with eyebrows you have a single hair in every spot that fills up your eyebrows so you basically do the same thing when you draw eyebrows you want to do you don't want to just shade it in and call it good you want to make sure that you can tell that it's individual hairs coming off of the eyebrow. Now I'm drawing the neck and the Adam's apple. We're going down into the chest because he is shirtless in this photo.
And now we're on to the hand. So I'm getting the fingers going. So it's more of the knuckles because you can't see the fingers. So we're just getting the preciseness of the knuckles going on. And then we do have some shading because you can always see the side of the pinky that's curling up into a fist. So I'm just fixing that up a bit to make it look like the shadowing of your pinky curling in. Now we're starting on the hairline. So <clears throat> he has a very like boxy shape of hairline when it comes to his head. So we're just trying to get the hairline going. And he does have always have that one piece of hair that goes over his face. So we're just getting the outline for that. We're not really doing much with it. We're just getting the outline of it. And now we're filling in the eyes. I do a certain type of shading with those. And then we're drawing the hair. And then we're done for the day. So this project is taking me a lot longer than I thought. So I will be doing a part one and part two. So this is the part one episode and we'll hopefully get part two out as soon as possible. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and hit that like button and push the eh, notification eh, bell so you know when my next video comes out. We'll see you back here at the Mathai Clan.